Hello everybody, back with another Kerrang! magazine. This one is from February the 10th, 1990, so as it's February the 11th today, it's 31 years and one day old. I initially thought it was a, a Christmas issue when I seen the uh, Eddie on the front. Obviously he's a judge, but um, I didn't look that close when I first seen it. Yeah, I know, it's incredible, isn't it? Uh, thunder. I always feel like 1990 still felt like the 80s, in a way. I didn't feel like the 90s really started until 91. Even in 1990, there wasn't really much indication of a changing of the guard as far as the, the bands were going. I don't know what everyone else thinks. Blown more death sign multi-million dollar deal with earache. <laughs> yeah, I would say the whole earache catalog combined wouldn't be multi-million dollar. Iron Maiden, the first 10 years. I have the CDs, but I don't have the box. I would love to get hold of a box, or a, better still, I would love to get hold of the vinyl and the box. I remember they came out every week, um, and they were really difficult to get. We used to have a, a record shop in town, and you'd run down there trying to get them. And even at the time, you know, the day after, something like that. I couldn't always get them. I know I missed a couple. Jagged Edge Trouble. I just recently got that cassette. Stage dolls. Anyone know them? I've heard of them. I've never heard anything by them or anything. What do you reckon? What's your thoughts on um, Iron Maiden? They don't really help out. Paul Diano. I know he's made a lot of mistakes and stuff like that over the years. But I think he struggles for money. And them guys don't seem to help him out. And I, I understand that a long time ago he sold his... Um, he sold his rights to the albums for about uh, 30000 And the kind of... That was it then. Done deal and then... They don't tend to bother with him much. Do you think they should still be helping somebody like that out if he if he falls on hard times or not? Who's that? Ian Hunter. And Mick Ronson. I don't know who they are. Slaughter. Another album I've just recently picked up. BGH, Cheap the Bullet. Never heard of them. Anyone heard of them? Uh, the animator.
Overkill and Sabotage. Little Angels. They were a band I didn't really pay any attention to either. I think I only heard the song She's a Little Angel and I don't know, it felt like enough. Red Hot Chili Peppers. I mean oh, I don't I don't even want to talk about them. I can't stand that band. Vain poster. I don't I don't understand the the whole judge thing. Is it oh sentenced to ten years or something, do you think? I don't know. What what was the, what was the meaning behind the artwork, do you think? And why wasn't that artwork used more prominently somewhere else? I can't remember seeing that before apart from in this magazine. And that guy, that drummer, he always reminds me of that um, that guy of Step Brothers, Will Ferrell. I I didn't mind them when they were when it was the uh, Uplift Moffo Party Plan and Mother's Milk, but after Mother's Milk, I was kind of done with uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. And even they aren't great albums, they're just, they're just albums. HM gear. <laughs> the Horner Viper. Gigs. Who played? Anyone play near me? Oh, that's shit. No. What we got here? Excalibur, no idea. True Grit, supporting. I don't remember them. Overkill and Mordred. Um, Headbangers Ball done a, a whole show from that from that concert. Um it would be nice to be able to find that again if somebody uploaded it. Fish Who? Protocol. Never heard of them. Ample cleavage play Morecambe Gardens. Work it in trader bills. Ample cleavage. I've seen that, but I've never heard them. <laughs> Voivod on the Nothing Face uh, era. A lot more people were switched on to Voivod after that album, weren't they? 
I jumped on at uh, Dimension Hatress, but nothing faces a better album. Death Angel. <clears throat> yeah, I remember the Act 3 album coming out among the time that all those Iron Maiden 12 inches were coming out. And one week, I only had enough uh, to buy one thing and I bought Act 3 <laughs> and didn't buy an Iron Maiden um, 12 inch. Gangrene. I, I can't get into all that crossover stuff. Just can't do it. Faith no more. You know, I don't know what anyone else thinks, and I realised the real thing was an awesome album and Introduce Yourself. But this guy here, always strikes me as somebody that takes the piss out of heavy metal, really. In spite of him being friendly with a lot of heavy metal people and um, and done a lot of different projects. He's always somebody that I see as thinks of, uh, thinking of himself above all that, and he's just sort of doing it for the payday or whatever. I don't know. I, I don't like the guy. I don't like the band. Those two albums were good, but I, I would never be interested in anything else. Who's that? Who have we got here? Oz Fox from Striper. He's really ill now, isn't he? If in fact he's still alive, I'm not even sure, but I think it's that serious anyway. Later Ford. I tell you what, um, I watched Later Ford on that metal show. You know when they have like a guest slot that plays guitar up in the um, among the crowd. She was a terrible, terrible guitar player. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.